managing stress. Today's episode is all about stress, what's stressing me out, and how I manage that stress. Right now, we're standing in the kitchen of Hicksville Number no. One. I would say this is one of the top stressors in my life right now. We are in what's called, or what I like to call, the punch list phase. Uh, at some point, it transitions from the various trades phase, where the majority of the work is done, to what I call the punch list phase, and I despise this part of the project. Uh, it's not fun, it's not a design phase, it's not picking tile or designing a new house or you know landscaping, which is a one and done transformative kind of couple days. The punch list phase is something that's ongoing, it's um, full of surprises, and managing the lists that come along with the punch list phase is something that freaks me out every time. And I'm actually doing it right now across two builds. So tomorrow I'll be here with my helper, him and I will personally clean up this place, break down the cardboard, get these appliances in place, the plumber's gonna come in, hook up the kitchen faucet, and then I'll have a really good idea where we're at. But over the next couple days, I really gotta wrap this thing up 100%, get it ready for our final inspections, and hopefully close on it soon. I'm gonna try to show you guys in 30 seconds the things that I have floating around in my mind just from this build. Kitchen hardware, appliances in place, repair that ceiling, get rid of all this garbage, sweep everything up, get that plumber back to put the kitchen faucet in place, dining room fixture, chandelier, clean up, bath hardware, mirrors, more clean up, mirror, backsplash, final inspections, more bath hardware, paint touch-ups, paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. Managing stress is something that I'm working on. It's a work in process. It's something that I've gotten a little better at this year, but um, as I said in an episode uh, a couple months ago, there are some days where I physically feel the stress on my chest weighing me down. So what I've done to sort of alleviate some of that is, number one, if something pops into my head, either I write it down or I just take care of it immediately, right away. Even if I have to pull over my car, make a note, or call that person that I've been stalling on calling, I just do it right away. That's one thing. Another thing that I'm really working on right now is making time for myself. You know, I make it to the gym and I do some of the things that I like to do, like tend to my vegetable garden, which is a whole episode by itself. But um, more than that, it's to actually disconnect, to take time off, and even if it's a Sunday afternoon or a beach trip in the middle of the week where I can cut an afternoon short and get a couple hours in for myself, hang out with my wife, catch up with a friend, whatever it may be, it's something that I've gotten a little better at this year. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that's something that I've sort of been focusing on. Uh, you gotta make time for yourself. You gotta make time to recharge. And uh, you know, those are some of the things that I'm doing at this point to manage the stress in my life. Bro, look out this door right now. If you remember that monologue about building versus flipping and how we do things differently, there was a huge pile of dirt, that massive tree right there, and this was a freaking war zone. Look at this place now. Welcome back to Hicksville number two. We're standing in another beautiful kitchen. I went with gray cabinets on this one, white subway backsplash tile, and I really like the way this one came together. This one is a little bit further along in the punch list process, and the reason for that is I waited to put this house on the market until I was done, and so I was able to run through all the choices myself and didn't have to wait for amending the plans or a customer to choose the paint colors or the tile and so on. So uh, we've had quite a bit of activity here. As I mentioned a few episodes ago, we're gonna be going uh, I'm hoping to be in contract in a couple of weeks. I have a couple offers in play, uh, and uh, this has been a much more relaxed build. I've been able to go through it at my own pace, 
And while I get this offer in play, I'm able to knock out this punch list. There's still a pretty substantial one here, but uh, I'll be able to do that over time rather than rushing like I am at Hicksville One since there's a buyer that's ready to close. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. We're also on IGTV now as well. Every episode will be on IGTV and uh, follow me on Instagram at Pinnacle Real Estate. Thank you for watching and have a great day, everyone.